What do you drive? I have the, um, I have that, like, Batmobile tank truck that's been making the rounds on Twitter. You know what I'm talking about? You seen that? The, uh, that gigantic... I gotta stop liking everything I find remotely agreeable on Twitter so it can just be stuff like, I want to return to this in the future. I, I, I do this for everything. I like everything all the time on Twitter. I just reflexively hit it whenever I agree with it. I'm like a good Twitter user, but it's terrible for archiving. Everything I find slightly funny, every, like literally everything. I've talked about this before, but there's this whole like building industry of like wealthy prepping where there are companies that are specifically trying to market expensive goods to the demographic of people who are both wealthy and also think society is collapsing. And this is that. Look at this. Let's talk about... Hey, mamas. Let's talk about the memorable features on the Resvani Vengeance. I'm body armored, and so is this vehicle. For even more protection, you have explosive underbody shielding, bulletproof glass, electrified door handles, military grade run flat tires, and a ram steel bumper. If anyone's following you, you have blinding lights in the front and the back, or a smoke screen. Plus my favorite, pepper spray. If you're picking your kids up from the mall, let them know you're there with strobe lights and your intercom. Hey, Bobby, it's your mommy. Your kids will love that it was styled by a video game designer. The child was later bullied to death by their peers, justifiably. Vengeance is based on the Cadillac Escalade, so Mama gets heated and ventilated leather seats, a curved OLED display with augmented reality, a digital rearview mirror, which is necessary. Vengeance is only yours, and so is everything in this built-in safe. Parents might need to help their kiddos open the door, but it's a breeze to get in. You have heated seats, a third zone of climate control, cup holders, and two USB-Cs. Uh, yeah, I feel like this is the logical extension of all of the true crime podcast listening upper middle class suburban white women who legitimately feel like any time a discarded napkin gets blown by the wind to end up somewhere near their car, it's like the tell signal for the cartel MS-13 and like, like I, I don't know, like Serbian rape gangs who are all targeting her at that exact moment in the parking lot of an Applebee's at 3 p.m. Um, like, I, it's like, it, I, I feel like this is the logical extension of that, which is, what do you do with people who have consumed content that has been manufactured to give them an anxiety disorder? Well, you give them the Batmobile, uh, the, the suburban mom Batmobile, right? Bring the kiddos along with five top tethers, two sets of lower latch anchors. It's a three row SUV that seats up to eight people. Oh, by the way, really important to understand. Something like this would actually be terrible in any kind of, like, post-apocalyptic social breakdown situation. For one, and I, I understand this is going to frustrate people who really like this kind of tech stuff, okay? There is no vehicle commercially available on the planet that will survive being open-fired on by a bunch of guys with guns that you can buy from a Walmart. Uh, it, do it does not matter. You can, you can make your vehicle as armored as you want and maybe it'll help in some situations in some weird video gamey like kind of sense but if you leave that car alone for any length of time somebody with a tire iron could still destroy it that is how things work uh the real reason that militaries are able to adequately defend their territory is not because of high-tech well-armored equipment it's because of people so, for example, if you were to sneak onto a military base and had five hours alone in a depot filled with Abrams tanks and you had nothing more than basic engineering equipment, you could destroy a lot of that equipment. You could destroy hundreds of millions of dollars of extremely well-armored tanks because no one's there to stop you. There is nothing you can buy that will make your vehicle immune to whatever people want to do to it outside of constant surveillance, which is not something this car can provide for you. Also, how many uh, gallons to the mile do you think this one gets? Three gallons per mile? Four gallons per mile? I fit, and I'm safe. Let's see if the stroller does. Stroller test. It fits, and it's powered Great. by a V8 with 420 to 810 horsepower. Yeah, great. From Mobile Mama. That's right, the big evil. Yeah, the starting price is about $300,000.
that rev was five hundred dollars. Yeah, that rev that was done at the end right there. You could just feel and just just into the wind. Fucking white people. Thought, yeah, this is definitely a white people thing. Please don't hate me, but I think the car looks cool. Oh, okay. I'm not too prideful to admit I think the car looks cool. Way cooler than the fucking Cybertruck, that's for sure. In like a stupid video game cyberpunk, here's the ultimate mega car. Like, yeah, okay, fine. In terms of like actual real life usability, I would feel horrified. Can you imagine like popping over to the grocery store and getting out of your like nine foot tall mega mobile like bat tank? And then, like, the, 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 like, a cute lady with dreads, like, starts snickering at you as you get out because you need to, like, wobble your four foot eight ass off the, like, high seat to get back onto the ground. And the, you're, 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 like, you're, like, trying, like, squirming out of this armored vehicle and people, <laughs> you know, you're, you're dropping beans everywhere and the, the black kid back behind you is like, <laughs> this, is this bitch, this bitch dropping beans, you know? Uh, yeah, I, it's, it's not, uh, yeah. And what happens if you drop beans inside this? Huh? How, how, how easily can you clean the upholstery? Um, just ridiculous. They have an even bigger one called a Hercules 6x6 Military Edition starting at $460,000. That's awesome. That's great. That's fantastic. Weirdly, this one actually looks less like... Cyberpunky. This this looks a little. I feel like a little closer to what cars actually look like. Maybe. Numerous security features, huh? First aid kit, hypothermia kit, pepper spray dispenser, gas masks. Ma Interesting how a number of their uh, features are just things you could buy at a store for forty bucks. First aid kit, you can get one of those for 40 bucks. Hypothermia kit, 40 bucks. Gas mask, maybe maybe go for a little more expensive than 40 bucks. Let's say 100 bucks for a nice gas mask, okay? Uh, reinforced suspension, ram bumpers. Optional explosive device detection. Where are you bringing this thing? Continuous video recording. Ah, I see, like a $60 dash cam. Great. Electrified door handles. Can be defeated only by a guy wearing gloves. Siren and horn options, all cars have that. Strobe lights, uh, I'm pretty... Don't... Don't most cars have, like, really bright headlights? Like, you, you, you have your regular front lights, and then you have, like, the extra lights that are, like, blue, and they're a lot brighter, and you're not supposed to have them on for long because you're blinding people. The LED things, the high, high beams, high beams, yeah. The, how useful are the strobe and blinding lights, like, better than that, like... How much do these elevate over the the high beams? You know, I I don't, I don't know. Smoke screen, military run flat. Yeah, okay. Electromagnetic pulse protection. What on earth do you think? The what the cartel is? Do, what are you trying to shield your car from a fucking nuke? What are you doing? Also bullshit. Fuck you. Electromagnetic pulse protection. Jesus Christ. What? Yeah, you have enough fucking Faraday K. Are we just seeing this in like the stripped down version, but in reality it's inside a gigantic Faraday cage hamster ball and it rolls around like, oh yeah, it might s suck ass, but if an EMP ever comes, then hey, there you go. <laughs> it would protect you from that. The ultimate cope cage. Yeah, where's the radiation protection, huh? Huh? How how many how much radioactive energy gets filtered out by these uh these uh windows? When is Hassan buying this? True. This is only twice the cost of the car he did get, right? Where's the airlock? Where's the wait? It wait. Hold on. Is the interior actually sealed, like hermetically sealed, with uh, an air filter, like fully, not the way cars normally do? Because if not, that's like a huge oversight. Like, oh yeah, we have an explosive undercarriage, and we have EMP protection, but in terms of, like, airborne particles, you you might as well be in, like, a, a, like a, a, a Toyota. 
That's what the gas mask is for. The gas mask can't save you from the from the 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 the, the rays. It can only save you from the particles, and even then, only 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 to an extent. Suburban moms won't feel safe till they're driving the presidential beast. Ah, yes, true. This really is like the end state of the suburban upper middle class TikTok paranoia. It's just every single white woman driving the beast as they pick up their kids from a soccer practice. What the hell is this? Beautiful. This thing's an actual marvel of engineering. This thing only gets one mile to the war crime? True! Where's that, where's that picture of the beast when it got, hold on. President, the beast, stuck on curb. Wasn't it, was it stuck on a curb or like a ramp? Obama's beast gets stuck on a ramp on the visit. Oh yeah, this, this is so funny. Hold on, then we're ending this. Dun, 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 dun. So the reason that happened is because it weighs about ten tons. It it, it gets it can weigh up to around twenty thousand pounds. And we're talking like not quite tank weight, but yeah, it's it's a it's a whole thing. You only let you only let the JFK assassination happen once, okay? Doors. Armor plated eight inches thick, the weight of a cabin door on a Boeing 757 jet. When closed, they form a 100% seal to protect the occupants in the event of a chemical attack. Firefighting system, tear gas and smoke screen dispensers. Satellite phone. Armor plated fuel tank filled with a special foam that prevents it from exploding even after a direct hit. Body work. Military grade armor at least five inches thick. Combination of dual hardness steel, aluminum, titanium and ceramic to break up projectiles. Filled with a bunch of guns and uh, 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 blood in the president's type. Tear gas, grenade launchers, Kevlar reinforced tires. This is what every mom needs to be driving to her children's soccer practice in. Windows. Five layers of glass and polycarbonate can withstand armor-piercing bullets. The only window that can open by just three inches is the driver's. When you really, really need the hockaloogie, or like get a breath of fresh air. Where are the ketchup packets? True. Do you think presidents need to worry about assassinations, or do you think these protections are necessary? I think it's fine for nations to do this with their like heads of state. If there was, if there was ever a time when you were going to go all out on on the beast, it would probably be for something like this. Uh. Probably not so much with the uh, suburban mom demographic, though. I don't know. What is this? On my way picking up my kids from swim class. True! Imagine how cool it would be to be a kid and seeing your, your parents roll up in one of these. Do you think there are other top secret properties of the car? Oh, I'm sure. 100%, yeah. Um, it's probably also... Uh, it's, it's probably also the case that they deliberately understate the design uh, of stuff like that when they report it to the public, so there's stuff that, like, isn't publicly known, right? I think you could reasonably assume that. Um, currently watching Vu sheltering in place from a now three-hour police shootout outside America moment. Damn, Bubble Goom. Uh, I, well, I hope, uh, you know, don't catch a stray bullet, okay? Don't let a dono to me be your last interaction with the world. Hope things are going all right out there. Three hours, damn. Yeah, it's an American moment, okay? For an American, this is just like being caught in traffic, you know? Stay safe. 